morning YouTube fam so today is gonna be a makeup tutorial but first I have to get this hair together as you see I got my water bottle getting ready to flat twist my hair so I had to get that hair good and wet um, can't just flat twist dry hair you will not be <laughs> You will not be doing yourself any type of justice. So, yeah. I'm just trying to get the little strays off. Um, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I have no clue what that was. But now I'm just trying to wet my hair all the way through. I actually need to wash my hair. I think I, for I forgot a towel. Got my towel. Getting ready to get back to work i think i think i was watching criminal minds at this point that's why i keep looking over uh it's because i was watching criminal minds trying to do my hair but yep back to my water bottle getting ready to again get that hair good and wet the one thing that i've learned with being natural and having 4c hair is moisture 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 and I had to like wore my hair out for the past two days because I was really tired of wigs, you know. Wigs can get frustrating. So we're just pulling out, making sure everything is good. I have no clue. I'm adjusting the camera here. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> but yep, getting ready to get that together. What am I reaching for? I'm reaching for my design, design essentials. Almond and Avocado Curling Cream. Yes, it was $14, but it has lasted me a while. And then the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I think that's the extra dark um, Black Castor Oil there. And I'm getting ready to actually mix the two. Um, as you can see, my little strays are there in the top. I'm getting ready to put a little bit of some in the top. And I'm getting ready to just speed through this next part. All right, guys, so we're now here for the makeup tutorial part. Um, this is like my first makeup tutorial. And so like I was trying to figure out the steps that I go through. I'm getting ready to prime with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, it does cost a pretty penny. <laughs> um, and I do apologize, guys, if there are some loud parts. Um, just, you know, take your headphones out. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know what I was looking for, but um, I think I, what was I looking for? Oh, needed my mirror um, just to make sure because I didn't have my, I left my stand alone mirror at my house. As you see, I've been using this good old primer. It is, it is a pretty penny, $55 to be exact, but it is worth every penny. We're just going to speed through this part, you know, just putting the primer on my face. I got excited at this point because I saw my friend on TV. <laughs> I'm getting ready to use some lip um, plumper. I can't remember the brand of that lip plumper, guys, but um, I don't use lip plumper to actually plump my lips. 
um, because I already have plump lips, but with getting the blood vessels flowing to the lips just helps for a smoother um, lipstick or whatever application when you do that. Um, but again, just speeding through that part, um, I'm getting ready to use the Too Faced um, Lip Injection Lip Plumper too. That's a really good plumper. Um, you don't have to spend the Too Faced money, but you know, it was a treat for myself. I'm trying to figure out what else I got going on. Oh, let's see what we're about to do here. Oh, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Deep. I'm getting ready to powder down my um, primer. Um, that is a, a great trick that I learned from Jackie Ina. And the look that I'm about to do is Jackie Ina inspired as far as the um, eyeshadow look. Um, I made it into a cut crease, I believe. Uh, I was trying to find, I don't know what I was looking for at this point. I will remember, oh, I needed to wet my sponge because I didn't want to show y'all my dirty sponge at first, but I'm getting ready to powder down now. That helps the foundation last a little bit longer and you don't have to use as much foundation. So I just powder down all over my face. I think I had some eye boogies. <laughs> and yeah, I'm getting some more just to make sure that I got my whole face and I, cause I don't get that much on my sponge. So that's why I go back in like maybe three times cause I don't get that much on my sponge. And then I go in, this is my benefit goof proof brow. Getting ready to do my brows. I comb my brows up first, as you can see. And yeah, I'm going kind of fast. Like I sped the video up just so that you could, it really takes me a long time to do my makeup, maybe hour at that. But, you know, I comb my eyebrows up first. I follow that line to get that brow. And I create like a unibrow. And I saw this on Instagram, that technique. And then we just comb them down and do the same thing up top. I'm just making sure I got it as even as possible. Like it, this part doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna, f I go through and correct my brows all throughout the makeup application. And this is kind of hard doing while holding a mirror. I really wish I would have had my hand, on my standalone mirror. Um, that's my Morphe brush. I think that's the M432 and my Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand. Um, I ran out of my Too Faced I was sad, but that's my concealer, and I'm just going to clean up under my brows. Um, this Now, this takes, like, a, a little bit more precision. I'm trying to, like, get, just getting it off of the wand and going in and just cleaning those brows up just to get that good sharp line um, for my brows there, and it helps just cleaning everything up. I'm a bit of a perfectionist to a certain degree so I'm like okay then I just blend that concealer down over the eyelid just to clean it up as much as possible and go back in and make sure my brows are filled in then I I was going to use the Fenty I actually do end up using the Fenty but then I was going through all of my foundations I had pulled out yep that's the Fenty see I changed mine go back to the Fenty that's in the shade 420 and I end up using my Sonia Kosick, Kosick sponge and just go oh, all over. Y'all, I'm still watching Criminal Minds, so sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I go all over and um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else am I doing at this point? Yeah, it takes me like I don't use a lot of pumps. I really don't use a lot of pumps. Um, like a large pump so that's what I mean uh, so I use very little foundation and that's why I go back in a few times so that way I can just get full coverage but I don't use a lot of foundation then I'm going back in making sure 
anything that I lost on my brows while I was foundationing up is put back on there. So let's see. Yep. Just putting more foundation, not more foundation, but evening out my foundation. And now it's time to highlight. Now the Tarte Shape Tape, I really, it's not my favorite concealer, but since I ran out of my ColourPop concealer and I ran out of my Too Faced concealer, I just decided to use my Tarte Shape Tape. <laughs> And so, yep, that's me highlighting. And then, you know, that's just to cut out the cheekbones and highlight my chin. And then I put a little bit above my lip because it creases. It's like that's where foundation tends to crease on me. And I'm getting ready to contour with the Black Radiance Contour Kit in just a moment. But I have to blend out that chisel right there because I don't want it to dry. The Tarte Shape Tape dries so quick. And so I set it with the um, Fit Me powder in deep because you don't have like highlighted cheeks right there. <laughs> so back to my contour palette and it's time to paint. That's what it really feels like is painting. So I go in around the hairline and I just kind of dab, dab, go back in, get, get my other cheek. Dab some more. <laughs> and then go under where I had put that concealer and powder. This is like my favorite part of makeup. The contour and also get my chin. I like the way like it looks very, I don't want to say tribal, but that's what it reminds me of. And I like the, I just, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. So I'm going in, blending out my contour and, can, um, and my concealer. I pushed back my bonnet. My bonnet is from a Silken and Nofe. Um, love her Ankara bonnets. Now, the only reason I didn't show this brush is because I got it, I think, I don't remember where I got this brush from, but I just, <laughs> it's a great brush for um, blending out the contour. It is, it's dense and it helps with just making everything look really good that's my beauty bakery coffee and cocoa palette as you can see i'm almost out and i need to actually replace it but i like the shimmer and so i go over my cream contour with that powder contour and this is why i love slash hate the shape tape concealer because i let the concealer dry down too much and shape tape dries super quick guys so you gotta move quick and I just forgot that was shape tape because I hadn't used her in a while. And so I'm going back with the contour, just making sure that, you know, everything's blended. Um, lighting in my dad's dining room is not great. That's the NYX HD concealer. It's a little bit light for me, but I needed something a little bit creamy because I didn't want my under eyes to be super, super, um, what's the word, super dry. I did not want them to be super dry. So I let that sit for a little bit, cleaned up my brows a little bit, and then went back in and blended that out. And I get a little bit on my eyelids to serve as a primer for my uh, eyeshadow. And that is the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder in yellow. Um, don't worry guys, I'll link everything that I use in the description box down below. But I don't actually bake with that powder. I actually press it into my concealer um, because it's a very mattifying powder and it is dry, dry. So I don't f really use it to bake. And then I go in with the Maybelline Fit Me and that is a medium deep. And that's what I use to bake because it's a nice yellow powder for me. I'm getting ready to use the deep or all around my mouth because just to set and then I kind of just brush off and I realized I forgot I had a little bit of a blush left on that purple so that's why I went back in with the powder y'all criminalize is my joint so that's what I'm watching right now <laughs> um let's see I'm putting my powder away what am I about to do I have no clue at this point because I think the episode had gotten good 
All right, I'm getting ready to use, um, that's my Ruby Kisses brush I got it at the hair store. It's a tapered eyeshadow brush. I'm getting ready to use the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, it looks well loved, but it's not. But I'm getting ready to take that burnt orange color and put that in my crease. And so I'm just going through and blending that out in my crease. This is a time though that I really like having either a mirror, a handheld mirror or a palette mirror. Now that is the Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder. That's the banana powder. Now when I kind of got the top stuck on it, so that's another story for another day. But I put that on the outside of my eyes just to make sure catch any other fallout. But I go in and I just, I'm just blending at this point. Blending, blending, blending. The episode got real good, guys. The episode got real good. And I was like, well... <laughs> I think I've seen every episode at least twice. So I'm doing the same thing on my other eye. Again, just blending, blending, blending. Especially with that crease color. I'm cleaning up my brows again with my goof, goof proof. And I believe that's shade 5 for the brows. But, um, yeah, let's see. I'm still blending. I'm about to take a sip of water, y'all. Blending, blending, blending. And then I'm about to go in my crease with this dark green color. Like if you look in the palette, it kind of looks black, but it's a really dark green color. Like I said, this look was inspired by Jackie Hill's Jack, um, Jackie Hill, Jackie Ina's um, Jacqueline Hill palette review. Um, I use basically the same colors, but um, I just did a cut crease in some, yeah. I'm going in putting that on top of the burnt orange color and deepening that crease. And I was so what I'm about to do is take that Morphe M432 brush and cut my crease. Yeah. And carve out that crease is as good as I can. My wig was getting tight, y'all. It was, and it was causing me a headache. And I just was not having it. And so now we're back with the shape tape. Shape tape, like concealer works so well for this, guys. I don't even use like a shadow primer. If anybody has a good shadow primer idea, please let me know. Y'all, I was so into this episode. But yeah, you know, I go back in, get the shape that I want. And then I go in with the metallic green sh shadow, that color. I'm about to shut. <laughs> and I put it on, I tried it with my finger and it wasn't, it was popping, but it wasn't popping like I wanted it to. So then I get this flat um, elf brush that I got in a kit like a long time ago. And I just went back in and I, it was showing up the way I wanted it to then. And so I just kind of went back in with that. And I'm filling in where I place the concealer. And I'm just going back in. And filling in where I place that concealer. And just going over it. Making sure that it's where I want it. Now I'm going back in with the dark green color, that dark, dark green, and I'm filling in over so it doesn't look, look like there's any gaps. And then I'm taking my other Morphe brush and I'm gonna put that light blue green in the inner corner. And then going back to my flat shader brush and I'm going to stamp the dark green color under my eyelids. My lower lash line, not my eyelids. Lower lash line, sorry guys. And then I'm brushing off all the XX powder. We're getting ready because I look really light right now. But I'm about to use the coffee and cocoa palette in the blush there. I'm, looking, I'm like, ooh. What am I grabbing? Oh, and then this is my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I use that for my upper lashes because... It works really well for my upper lashes and I kind of paint it on the top and then I grab my black radiance full effect mascara and I love the wand on this for the bottom lashes it, it works so well for the bottom lashes so it, 
it just it's the best wand I feel like ever and I got to get the other side got to make sure it's right you can't put mascara on without opening your mouth <laughs> and I had to go grab my lashes um the lashes are from Queen Minx um V Robles I believe on Facebook uh, again I'll make sure that I link her information down below and this is the sassy eye glue I got it from the hair store and it's the fastest drying eye eyelash glue ever and it just it's the best and so I'm getting ready to put the lashes on I think those are style D46 and I know you can't really see me applying lashes it's just I gotta get up and close and personal for that but it takes it for the look from boom to boom baby <laughs> that's what it takes the look to and so now I'm just putting on my other lash and making sure it's a little like you really don't even have to blow on it that 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 glue just dries super fast and I'm just making sure everything looks great now the gloss that I'm using is the ColourPop an Ellery collaboration the shade is Netta it's my favorite gloss and people have been trying to like get me to get it for them and then it sold out it's very sad about that and this is the Fenty Kilowatt um, highlighter and ginger binge and Moscow Mule I couldn't find my original highlighting brush and so I just went with what I could find I don't it's it's not a taper brush the brush that I'm using uh, the brush that I typically use is a taper brush now I'm going back in with the deep fit me powder and going all over because I'm still kind of I'm kind of light right now and I am definitely melanin infused so yeah I definitely had to go back in with that powder to make sure got my Laura Mercier per perf puff and went all over my face and then going back in with my highlighter just to make sure I mix both Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule um, just to give me the glow that I want. Yeah, I was like, okay, make sure I get the good glossy look there. And then I go with the Master Fix setting spray from Maybelline. And this is the uh, final look. I had to fix my wig. <laughs> Again, I get distracted by criminal minds. Like criminal minds. Like my wig was just not trying to be great, y'all. She was just like, listen. <laughs> but thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>